Hello and welcome. In this how to draw video, we will be drawing the one and only Charlie Brown from the comics uh, Peanuts and created by the amazing uh, comic artist and illustrator Charles Schultz. So we hope you follow along and have lots of fun. Let's get started. All right, so let's start drawing his head. Now he's got a nice big round head, so we'll draw that. Now with the style of, of lines that we're using for Charlie Brown, it doesn't have to be a perfect line, it's always a little bit wonky, but that's all a little bit wobbly, so that's fine. Now when we draw his head, we're gonna leave a little gap on the right hand side here, just for his ears. So let's just start here, and we'll draw a nice circle again. The sort of style that he's drawing in, uh, the shapes can be a little bit uneven, which is nice. It gives it a bit of character in life. All right, so we go down here like that. And then all we do is we draw another circle here, starting on the inside, which is his ear, like that. Now you can see part of his ear sticking on the other side, so we can draw part of that on that side there too. All right, so next part we'll draw is his hair. So he's got a funny little puff of hair on the front here. It's quite a, a squiggly little line, uh, sort of like this. So you can kind of make it any shape you like. Just like that. Then we draw his nose. It is kind of just a bit of a C shape. And just a little bit squarish. His eyes, nice, simple, just two circles like this, slightly oval. And then we'll draw his mouth. So, normally he's got a big smile, just like that. There we go, I think he's looking good. So that's Charlie Brown's head. And now let's draw the rest of his body. So before we draw his neck, We'll start drawing his shirt. So he wears this shirt, you may remember it's yellow and it's got this black zigzag on it. So let's start drawing his collar first. So we'll draw a little bit of a collar here. And again, this collar is, I don't know, it looks like he's got a bit of a, a messy shirt. It's always a bit wobbly. So we can do a, a sort of shape like that. So you can start with a bit of a V in the middle, which is the the, the middle of the, the, the shirt or the opening. And then it's, like it's got two little flaps, which is this collar on the side there. So once we've done that, we draw his neck in like that. Now the way Charlie Brown stands, he doesn't stand straight up. He stands a bit awkward. So you'll notice that his neck, you can draw it back on a slight angle there. And what I'd like to do is also, I'll just make this a little bit thicker underneath there to add some shade. Again, that just gives it some depth and makes it stand out from his head. All right, so let's draw his actual shirt now. So let's draw the sleeve first. So we'll draw a line right about here, just straight across like that. Again, you can make that a little bit wobbly if you want. And then one little line here that goes from his armpit down to the sleeve. And then all we draw is joining from the shoulder down to his sleeve, another line like that. Now before to draw the rest of his shirt, what I think we'll draw next is his arm and his hand. So again, we'll draw a line down here like that. And it's actually quite an interesting shape. So we've got the loops down like that, so it kind of looks like a backwards J. We do another shape like this, and then another one like that, and then one up like that. You can see that the shapes aren't very well defined. It's quite loose and quite wobbly, so that uh, makes it nice and easy to draw, but it looks really cool as well. All right, so let's draw the rest of his shirt. So we're gonna start up here. Now we're not gonna start right up the, uh, at the collar, so we're gonna leave a little bit of space, and we'll go down on an angle, and we'll stop about here, just below where his hand uh, finishes. And then we just move across, we just stop behind there and we can just add a line here just like that. All right, so you notice at the bottom of the shirt it just finishes just below his hand and the back of the shirt goes uh, just behind that and the collar for the sleeve you can see sticks out a little bit from the back there as well. 
Right, so let's draw the rest. You can see partly his other arm up here. So let's draw a line down here and then another little horizontal line. You can make it on the same uh, length or same height as the other one there. And the other arm, we could just do a basic shape like that. All right, so you just see a hint of his arm from the other side. Most of it's covered by his body. Right, so that's his shirt. So now we're actually gonna add in the, the pattern of his shirt. So he wears, he's got this black zigzag on his shirt. So we draw a zigzag line like that. So we go, starting from here, we go down and then up, down, and then back up again. So it kind of looks like a W. And then we copy the shape down here like this. Okay. And we'll color that in later. And we'll color that in black. Right, so let's draw his shorts. So he wears shorts, so we draw a little line there. And then what we do is we can draw one big line across there and up like that. Now we do just want a big shape um, because we it's actually black, the shorts that he wears, so I might well just colour that in now, actually. There we go. So essentially, it's just a rectangle. Nice, easy shape. Alright, so let's draw his feet. So we'll draw one shoe up the front here. So he's kind of got, they look like... I don't think they're really sneakers, they're kind of maybe brown sort of leather shoes. So we can draw a shape like that. So it looks like a bit of a rectangle, kind of rounded on one side and a straight edge on the other side, because his feet are pointing to the left. Now there's a little bit of detail on it. You can add a little bit of a loop, so it looks like he's got shoelaces. And then we draw the leg. So we're just going up here, from the shoe up to his shorts there, just like that. And then in the middle, you can draw a bit of a, a wobbly line. So that's his sock there. So he wears socks. Uh, normally you get yellow socks that he wears. And then uh, you can see his leg there. And we just do the similar thing um, behind here as well. So we draw it just off like that. Now this whole shape has just moved a little bit. Um, to the left, and again, you can draw some laces there as well. And then you can see the leg, you only have to draw one line because part of his leg is actually hidden by the leg in front, which is nice, it creates a bit of depth uh, to the picture. And then we draw some socks here as well to make a little wobbly line. And there you go, that is Charlie Brown. So we've drawn all the lines and the next part is to color in. we're finished colouring in. So there we go, there is Charlie Brown. Good grief, there he is, all coloured up. He's a wonderful character to draw, nice and easy to colour in as well. It's basically just yellow and black, and a bit of brown for his shoes there as well. There we go, I hope you followed along and had lots of fun. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!